What's up, YouTube? It's called the Format Two Two, and we ended with a battle for uh, against the Hessians, Haitians, however you like to pronounce it. So let's fight this battle. I am trying to keep these parts a little bit shorter because 1080 pixel is very big, very, very, very big, and so on YouTube you have to do if it's under two gigs and you can upload it but sometimes when it's around really close like 1.7 or 1.9 gigs then it doesn't upload it just freezes and freezes your computer and then advanced upload sucks it doesn't work at least on my computer or the computer downstairs I used to do commentaries on I mean you click upload and it takes like 117 minutes to upload your like are you kidding me it takes five seconds on regular so YouTube's not probably going to fix that because I don't care. If they did, that would be awesome, but I doubt they will. So we need to plan our attack because we're fighting against a lot of Hessians. Hessian. Hessian soldiers. I guess you call Haitians from Haiti. And we have wet powder, as obviously you heard him say. So the goal here should be to move up, get rid of this army quickly, and move on to the much bigger army that poses a threat coming from the city. And that is the Hessian general right there. Now right here is the Hessian general. This guy doesn't have a beard. And my guy doesn't have a beard either. That's weird. Normally they have beards. Depending on their character. Hey, what a shock. A phone's ringing. Guess who was calling everybody? Public safety. Yeah, it's funny because I just moved the phone into my room so I could answer a call a couple hours ago and yeah, that's right, right. So my guys are lining up here ready to take shots. Some of these guys are very experienced as the AI foolishly commits their general in over there. So I think we can definitely take over this province. Definitely be an important province to take over. We're trying to unite, unite um, Germany. And it'd be nice if my guys opened that fire. There we go. That's some nice shots. You know, it'd be nice if my guys turned here. Gosh, these guys just got destroyed. <laughs> Look at this, my guys. It's like it's like the great turkey shoot here. Oh, now you're gonna try to withdraw. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Maybe they're waiting for reinforcements. I normally charge some of my corsairs or horse guards in the, into these troops, but they do have a line infantry. I'm down, I just stop, shoot. It caught me on the reload. I always forget about these guys, you know that? Okay, I'm gonna get my Prussian guys out back here. Well, I've just kind of lost control of this part of the battle. Okay, moving the troops back. I keep forgetting that my grenadiers are my grenadiers, and they're not part of my line tree, so we got a little bit of a lesser line.
Dang it. Why did these guys select? Fava, did you hear that? Fava! This is funny. Okay. Now we've basically dealt with their huge cavalry. I love how a stray bullet. I love how, like, a stray bullet passes by them like he's under attack. No, he's not. <laughs> and these horse guards are just bosses in my campaign. So my guys are wearing these white coats, and their horses are wearing those. So for anyone who's wondering, setting up your troops online is how you should do it with the skirmishers in the front and these guys just within range to help support. Unfortunately, sometimes when you're in a skirmish fight with lots of enemy skirmishers, some of your men do get killed. But these guys have low morale because their general was being shot at. So these are Prussian fusiliers, but you think they would be like, like real fusiliers? Look at all these shots my guys are taking. You think they'd be like fusiliers would be like the standard German, but they uh, the standard German infantry. My horses are getting shot back here. So we're starting to wrap up these guys on this side. Definitely in the front. They're making a kind of concentrated attack there, so I gotta turn some of my skirmishers. Yeah, they just have so many more troops than me. Let's move those guys forward. And these guys are also taking shots. Look at all this. We're in trouble on this flank here. Lots and lots of musketeers. Okay, I'm, wor I'm more worried about these fusiliers that are coming from behind us through this little town area. We're starting to take flanking shots into us. I'm going to transfer this unit over here. It's going to make my center a little weak. Not a little weak, a lot weaker. But it's really important that I keep up the pressure on that flank there. My grenadier is just being bosses here in the woods, just taking them down. You actually get more firepower power out of units with less men in them because you can line them up thinner. Look at the slaughter of all these hate Hessen troops. So when they're lined up thinner like this, more men get to have shoot, so... Oh, that was brutal. Okay, I'm gonna charge my horse guards in. And they're turning to shoot. But it looks like we're gonna hit them just in time where they can take shots. And I only charged them because the morale was low. And then my car should be able to take out this this threat on this flank. And as you can see, massive massive Hessian troops are retreating now. This is general staff. But look at all the bodies everywhere just because just because of their troops doing this massive attack here. And my cavalry are having fun. Someone told me to run down the enemy troops with my cavalry. Let's go for these light foot. To, uh, run down the enemy troops with my cavalry. This happens a lot when you're setting up in this formation. Skirmish in the front that your guys are just out of range. So you got to move up sometimes. As you can see those guys are doing. And definitely. Ooh, they even have some Jaegers. And those are... Real rifleman. That little symbol means rifleman, and this one means light infantry, and that one means line. The little grenade thing means grenadiers. And look, these guys have three chevrons. Okay, I think we dealt them enough damage. I just brought these troops over here to stop any more flanking attempts. What are 
Who's used up all it? Okay, these guys used all the ammunition, so we're just gonna charge right into those Jaegers. All my infantry is really upgraded. I feel like they they have, they're very experienced. These guys are gonna go into their bayonet charge, and it's gonna be really cool. Are you kidding me again? <laughs> Before the phone rings again, I'm going to throw it out of my room. Okay. We're back. Funny blooper moments here. So my guys came in and basically are smacking down these Jaegers. I actually am thoroughly enjoying this this Prussian campaign, but I will definitely do that French campaign because I would love a, another challenge. So I'm, I'm thinking about... I obviously have to do a video on Medieval about it, but... I'm thinking about just getting rid of Saxony. Oh, we gotta grab this, guys. I'm thinking about just getting Saxony. What am I talking about? I'm thinking about just getting rid of Milan, and then I'm calling it a win, even though it's a long campaign with tons of tons of more problems. I need like another 20 provinces, and I've counted. That's like all of Spain. If I got all of those provinces, and these guys are just like Fourth Regiment is just holding out against. Massive numbers of troops. But then these guys are going to come <laughs> and just blast away these these so-called musketeers. As you can see, they just got... As you can see, that guy was like, oh. They don't like being flanked either. So here my guys charging in the cannons again. It's really cool. Oh, how embarrassing would that be? Getting smacked in the face by a... <laughs> An artillery man who's, that doesn't even have a bayonet. My grenadiers are out of ammo and they're just take, getting shot at, so. Should have announced that these guys were out of ammo. I'll send these guys up to help also. I think I've gone over this several times, but in real life, you would not want to charge a grenadier unit. Those were the biggest men of the, of the regiments. And that was definitely not a good idea. Look at all their stakes right there. It's funny, the guys in the middle were the ones who had ammo left. I need to grab my general over there also. Well, there's 46 of them and 62 of us, so we also have the morale game. Look, there's their general. Very critical to kill him. Very, very critical. I don't even see where he went. These guys got another Chevron upgrade. Where'd that general go off to? There you are. Come on, horses, you can do it. We are pursuing a general, and he's going up on this hill. Let's go, Calvary. Let's go first person for fun. Dang, I did again. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Continue the battle. I mean, come on, we're gonna get this general here. I hope that's not just a captain. I think it's the general from the city. We're gaining on him, everybody. We're gaining on him. Ten four. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going, horse. Run. Oh, that guy's, look at that guy. He's ready for this. Oh, where are you going? We have killed their general. <laughs> <laughs> now they that was brutal. Okay, we're just gonna triple speed this battle. It's gonna triple speed the battle here, and then... I'm going to show you the results, and then we should end the part to keep it at 1080. If I do get a YouTube partnership, so I'm applying about a month when I can again, it will let me upload bigger videos without advanced upload. That's what I think, or that's what I've understood so far. Then we can have a little bit longer videos. Because MPEG-4, how I get a true 1080, where you can actually read what that says, the light foot down there and everything. 720 isn't isn't that high. 
You know what, as long as these guys are slowing us down... Goodbye. Well, there goes their second regiment of musketeers. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. They're not even. They're just going up on top of a hill. It's not a problem. What if we get a first-person event? Okay, there goes the last musketeer. Close victory, as if. The spies also saboteur and an assassin. So now much is for healing, and they lost 1,400 troops, practically. <laughs> oh, we're coming for you. Destroy this. Maybe they won't come out of there. Maybe I should have taken that. I don't know. Let's end the turn. Oh, yes. We're moving our spies down to Austria, and hopefully Russia, the Ottomans, and the French will do something. Well, I have counted the provinces. We're going to need to take one gimme province, but we got to... Hello, Mr. Gentleman. There's our classical university. I don't know why they keep spawning here. There's no... Unless I'm blind, there's no... School. No shula around. Yeah, we own Prague. My voice just cracked. We own Prague now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What a shock. The phone's ringing again. Okay. This is called the 4 Mentee to One Time. Hope you enjoyed.